but this guy right here was their biggest acquisition a season ago. It's Francisco Lindor. Great to see you. Nice to see you too, guys. So I, I wonder about having a year under your belt, right, and what you learned about playing in New York in year one and, and how you take that into year two. Um, well, I learned a lot of things, uh, especially being in a new league and being in a different ballpark every single day and around new guys. So you, you learn the league, you learn the division. That's the number one thing. Um, I learned how to make adjustments quicker. I felt like towards the end of the year, I was making adjustments quicker. And um, last year was a little fast for me. So uh, hopefully this year I can, you know, stay stay at a slower pace the whole year. When you say fast, are you talking about at the plate, learning how to play here, all of it combined? How do you how do you assess that? Um, I would say everything, um, but especially at the plate. Um, on the, on defense, I've always done a good, really good job of like staying present, slowing the the game down, my beat, staying even kill. Um, last year at the plate, the bats a lot, a lot of the time my bats went quick. I felt like I, it, they went by quick, and I was sitting in the dugout wondering like, what could I have done better? Mm -hmm. um, so, as a baseball player, as a professional baseball player, and a big leaguer. You need to have the ability to learn and to make the adjustment pitch after pitch or a bat after your bat. Um, and that's how you have success. So. I know you like to talk about leadership and mm -hmm. being a leader. What do you think makes a great, great leader in the clubhouse and on the field? Um, the ability to be able to listen, um, to uh, having the ability to relate with people. Um, there's different type of leaders. There's um, the vocal one. There's the one lead, leading by example, um, and the one that just it's able to listen to people and just give advices. Um, I, with this group, you know, I, I, you you kind of have to do um, everything when you when you when you playing this game, this beautiful game. You have you have to be able to relate with guys. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to. Um, lead by, by example, and you have to be able to listen to them, you know, so, um, and vice versa, you know, they don't listen to you, um, that's the beauty of the game. So you, your new contract kicks in this year. Yeah. Um, it's sizable, we know that. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that there's a certain uh, amount of responsibility that comes with that, number one, and is there added pressure because of that? Um, whether I was under contract or a minimum salary my expectations for myself were always really high um so yeah there's a big number um next to my name or behind my name whatever, <laughs> wherever you want to put it um but at the end of the day my expectations are bigger than anybody else's uh and at the end of the day the biggest pressure it's winning that's what i want and if i win or if we win the new york mets win It'll be all worth it. It, it. So because of that, do you feel this load on your shoulders to say, I need to help bring a winner to New York and to the Mets? Not a load on my shoulder, but definitely a lot of it's, it's right here. Mm -hmm. It's right here that I have to win. We have to win. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win on a daily basis. You know, and this is a team sport. So it's not just me. And uh I'm super happy with the new acquisitions that we have. You mentioned Max earlier, Marte, um, Escobar, uh, Buck, Billy. It, their mindset, it's it, it's a good mindset. Kana, Basse, Olavino. Um, you have all these different new yes. guys in the team that they know how to win. They know how to go about their um their business on a daily on a daily basis. So uh, I'm excited, and I think it's going to be a, a great year. Let's. You mentioned Max, and I mentioned Max. So it's Degrom and Scherzer atop the rotation from a defensive standpoint. What does that do to you? Um, and do, do you feel this need to ramp up the defense when you have pitchers of that ilk uh, on the mount? Um, not that I want to compare. I won't compare them. But I came up in a big league organization that pitching was really good. Yep. And I came up, Kluwer was Cy Young, we have Bauer, we have Michael Salazar, Carrasco, Beaver, Clevenger, you know, yeah. so you have all Some those pretty guys. pretty good guys. Yes, really, yep. really good guys. Andrew Miller was in the team. Um, so you just adjust to their pitch, their, the way they pitch, 
you know, I know with DeGrom and Max, there's going to be a lot of strikeouts, so there won't be as much as many ground balls hit to me. But still, I still got to be ready. I got to understand what what kind of changeup Scherzer has and what righties are going to do with their changeup mm-hmm. or with the slider, with the curveball. You know, it's one thing when I'm hitting. It's another thing understanding what they want their pitch to do against that hit.